Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, February 12th, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 647 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, The Journey of Chengzi with Jeremy Xu and Yang Chaoyue confirms its premiere date. Johnny Huang and Del Raba threaten legal action as rumor mongers continue to stoke the flames. Yang Zi is spotted in a wheelchair and her studio addresses the issue of imposters. And Zhang Songwen, star of The Knockout, is still not quite used to his newfound fame yet. We'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week as we do every Sunday. But first, here's what's recently premiered, one drama for today and the past few days. Love Heals is a modern romance drama starring Peng Guanying and Wang Churan. It premiered on February 10th. It follows Wang Churan's character, a neurosurgeon who goes back to her hometown to apply her trade. Little does she expect that her ex-husband, played by Peng Guanying, is the most experienced neurosurgeon at the hospital. He volunteers to be her mentor in order to make up for the hurt he caused her. Love Heals is slated for 36 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. And that's it for recently premiered dramas. Next up, dramas that recently announced their premiere dates. I have a bunch of them for you today. Beginning with The Forbidden Flower starring Jerry Yen and Xu Rohan, the modern romance drama announced a February 13th premiere, that's tomorrow. It follows the ill-fated romance between Jerry Yen's character, a middle-aged man, and a much younger girl played by Xu Rohan. The drama is slated for 24 episodes and will stream on Tencent. Then there's Wenderella's Diary, a modern romance drama starring Song Yanfei and Yu Menglong. It also announced a February 13th premiere. He is the founder of a well-known dating app, while she is a designer of high heels. In everyone's eyes, they are like Cinderella and the Prince, both talented and beautiful. However, she has a secret, and after they marry, it's like the clock strikes midnight for Cinderella, and she returns to her original form. Wonderella's Diary is slated for 24 episodes and will stream on Yuku. Then there's Perfect Mismatch, yet another modern romance drama. This one stars Luo Cheng and Rain Lu, and production announced a Valentine's Day premiere, February 14th. Rain Lu plays a girl who's proficient in Chinese medicine and martial arts. One day while in the mountains, she rescues a cold-faced CEO played by Luo Cheng. Romance and comedy ensues. The aptly titled Perfect Mismatch is slated for 24 episodes and will stream on IGE. And lastly, there's The Journey of Chongzi, an upcoming costume fantasy drama starring Jeremy Xu and Yang Chaoyue. It announced a February 15th premiere. Yang Chaoyue plays the titular Chongzi, a kind-hearted girl who is shunned by many because she has demon blood in her veins. Jeremy Xu plays an immortal who is her master, protector, and lover. The Journey of Chongzi is slated for 40 episodes and will premiere on Tencent. I will update on where to watch all these dramas with English subs if available after they premiere. That's it for drama updates, moving on celebrity updates, and today we begin with Johnny Huang and Del Raba, who both recently threatened legal action, not at each other, but at rumor mongers. Johnny Huang and Del Raba starred in the 2020 romance drama Love Designer. Since then, the two 30-year-old actors have been linked romantically in real life. Even up to a few days ago, they have been the subject of rife speculation on Chinese social media. According to media outlet Wa, paparazzi recently spread the rumor that Del Raba will give birth in October and that Johnny Huang is the father. Back in January, Del Raba shot down some pregnancy rumors that came about because she hadn't filmed any dramas for a while, and because in many of her social media photos, including her popular outfit of the day ones, she wore loose clothing. Well, it seems the rumor mongers refused to go away. As recently as February 8th, gossip bloggers on Weibo continued to stoke the flames. This one, who calls himself super photographer Yang Yang, shared the message, roughly calculating, should still be the year of the rabbit, around October. Cryptic as his message was, netizens deciphered it to mean Dilraba would give birth in October. 
Super photographer Yang Yang also reshared a video he shared in January, which as of today has been viewed almost 37 million times. The full version of the video shows a woman suspected to be Del Raba wearing a black hat and brown coat being accosted by photographers in an airport. Super photographer Yang Yang also reshared Johnny Huang's birthday post from last November. He added the message, Congratulations on your promotion, brother, and even had the audacity to tag Johnny Huang. Again, he was careful to remain cryptic. Netizens took the message to mean a promotion to being a father. Whatever the gossip blogger's intent was, netizens quickly connected the two narratives, Del Raba's alleged due date and Johnny's promotion. And it of course became a hot topic on social media. So much so that the two stars promptly released statements threatening legal action. On February 10th, Del Raba Studio shared a message to say that they will continue to protect the actress's legal rights and investigate the infringer's legal responsibility. They also shared a nine-page statement outlining multiple rights protection cases in progress. Among the names mentioned, super photographer Yang Yang. On the same day, Johnny Huang Studio reshared a post from January when the rumors first began and revealed that those rumor mongers had been dealt with by the courts. Johnny Huang Studio then warned the most recent rumor mongers, telling them to immediately delete their posts or face the consequences. As of today, super photographer Yang Yang's posts have not yet been deleted. Next up for celebrity updates, Yang Zi's been in the news. But before we get to that, a quick word on ExpressVPN. Now, whether I'm at home or traveling, the first thing I do before I surf the net is log on to ExpressVPN and connect to a server. Not only do I use ExpressVPN to protect my data from spies and hackers, I find it especially useful to unblock geo-restricted content like dramas and movies on YouTube, Netflix, WeTV, and other websites. ExpressVPN is giving away 3 months free on a 12-month plan to all viewers of my channel. All you have to do is use the link in the description below, expressvpn.com forward slash Marcus here. Alright, Yang Zi now. The 30-year-old actress was recently spotted in a wheelchair. Netizens have been sharing this picture on the right here, and the narrative is that she was returning to work on the set of the drama Stories of Youth and Love. As I updated a few episodes ago, she sprained her ankle while filming on the drama recently. In another Yang Zi story, her studio recently released a statement to warn her fans about imposters. In the February 9th statement, Yang Zi Studios said they recently discovered that some people had been impersonating staff members of their company and interacting with fans of Yang Zi through various means of social media. Some of these impersonators have threatened and swindled fans. Yang Zi Studio elaborated that they have never engaged in private chats or group chats with fans, and that they have never organized any form of fundraising or any sort of activity like that. They also urged fans to chase stars rationally and to focus on the work instead of tailing cars and gathering in public spaces. Moving on now, here's an update on an actor who's impressed me recently, Zhang Sung-wen. 46-year-old Zhang Sung-wen stars in the recently aired crime drama The Knockout. It's early in the year, but I already get the feeling that Zhang Sung-wen's performance will be one of the best I see all year. Recently, a few short articles have been written about the actor. This February 6th one reports that the China Film Report praised Zhang Sung Wen for his performance, saying that the actor is so skillful in his craft that he is able to perform with ease, and that he is a great talent that's matured over time. By the way, for those of you who also watched 2020's The Bad Kids, he was in that as well. I didn't clue into it at first, but when I did, it was like, of course, I really enjoyed his performance in that too. Zhang Sung Wen played Chu Yongping, who was one of the bad kids' father. Because of the knockout's popularity, Zhang Sung Wen now finds himself in new situations like people following him and taking his pictures, and groups of people greeting him at the airport. A netizen recently asked if he was used to these new situations, to which he replied, No, I'm not, but still, I want to thank everyone for their love. Until now, I still don't know how to handle these situations. If people really want to take my picture, I'll just stand somewhere that doesn't affect public order and let people take them. With that in mind, it makes this next Zhang Sung Wen story even funnier. 
On February 10th, a netizen left a message for the actor on Weibo saying that his autographed Polaroid photo taken at the airport was sold for 8,000 RMB apiece. To which he replied with disappointment, but why? That person told me she traveled a long way to the airport just to take a picture with and get an autograph from me. I guess I'd be disappointed if I were a celebrity and that happened to me, but truth be told, I think it happens quite often, and I actually think the stars are aware of it. It's just that after a while, they get used to it. And that's it for celebrity updates. Before we get to this week's top 10, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar more a month, you'll have access to parts like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. On that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, edition 159, February 12, 2023. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points, beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10, Love Heals, the modern drama stars Peng Guanying and Wang Churan. Number 9, Under the Microscope, the costume drama stars Zhang Rouyun and Wang Yang. Number 8, Mi Xiaochuan School Diary, the modern drama stars Jason Guo and Coco Chen. Number 7, Love at Second Sight, the modern drama stars Wang Zhuyi and Shao Yuqi. Number 6, Wuling Heroes, the costume drama stars Li Hongyi and Huang Reying. Number 5, Country Love Season 15, the modern drama stars Tang Jinjun and Wang Xiaoli. Number 4, Choice Husband, the costume drama stars Sophie Zhang and Xing Zhaoling. Number 3, Unchained Love, the costume drama stars Dylan Wang and Yuki Chen. Number 2, The Blood of Youth, the costume drama stars Li Hongyi and Liu Xueyi. And number 1, A League of Noblemen, the costume drama stars Jing Boran and Song Weilong. A League of Noblemen is championed for a second week running. It garnered 515 points. Next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, Meet Yourself, the modern drama stars Crystal Liu and Li Xian. Number 9, Turn on the Right Way of Life, the modern drama stars Huang Po and Mei Ting. Number 8, Smiling Mom, the modern drama stars Wang Yajie and Song Jialun. Number 7, In Spite of the Strong Wind, the modern drama stars Jing Dong and Song Jia. Number 6, For the First Time in My Life, the modern drama stars Ava Wang, Tina Tang and Mai Oli Wu. Number 5, Our Ordinary Days, the modern drama stars Li Xiaoran and Li Naiwen. Number 4, Ladies Character, the modern drama stars Huan Qian and Liu Mingtao. Number 3, Viva Femina, the modern drama stars Yin Tao and Jasper Liu. Number 2, Three Body, the modern drama stars Edward Zhang and Yu He Wei. And number 1, The Knockout, the modern drama stars Zhang Yi and Zhang Songwen. The Knockout ends the week with 612 points, another massive point haul, making it champion for a third week running. And there it is, guys. Hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Hope y'all have a great week ahead. Stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.